Then Moses asked this question. He said, what if they will not believe me? And what if they will not listen to what I say? Moses was worried about what other people think. Uh, I hate worrying about what other people think, but I have to tell you, there was a time in my life when I was defined by what other people think. I was a people pleaser. For me, it was so important to have people speak words of affirmation into my life that I actually would compromise who I thought God had made me to be so that I could be liked by somebody else. There were family members, a sister, who would label me loser. There were kids in school who would make fun of me and call me names like olive oil. Okay. I was tall and skinny and, you know, turn your, yourself sideways and stick your tongue out. You look like a zipper. You know, kids can be mean, right? Well, all of those names, everything that they would say about me, it stuck with me. And so as I grew, I began to worry about what other people thought. I understand Moses' question. What if they won't believe me? What if they don't see, God, that in these 80 years I've changed? What if they don't see, God, that you really are with me and that I really am different and I love what God asked him next in verse 2 of chapter 4 God asked what is that in your hand and Moses replied a staff that staff to Moses it represented all of his failures I believe I believe that staff to Moses represented his current position As a pharaoh, as a prince of Egypt, not a pharaoh, but a prince of Egypt, he would have seen pharaoh hold his staff, his authority, his power, his position, his prestige, his platform. That staff wielded the command, would would be with him always. It was the center of authority. And now Moses was holding a shepherd's staff. He knew what was in his hand was less than what he had grown up with. That staff, it represented going from prince of Egypt to shepherd. Poor shepherd. Shepherd that didn't even own his own sheep. It represented, I think, Moses' heartache over the past. I, I think in that staff, it just represented everything that Moses saw in his life that he did wrong. And I love that God asked him to do one thing with it. He asked him to throw it on the ground. And by throwing it on the ground, what was Moses doing? He was surrendering it. And when he threw it on the ground, that staff became a snake. And God said, pick it up and grab it by the tail. And he picked it up and he grabbed it by the tail. And then God told him he would go on to do mighty works with that staff. That staff, when surrendered to God, became an instrument of God's glory and his his presence, his personal power in Moses' life. So that when he used his staff, everyone would see that the power and that the position and that the authority, it came from God. God enabled him to do it. But I love that he used the thing that probably hurt Moses the most. The same holds true for us, my friend. What is your staff? What are you holding on to? What is it that you hold closely that represents failure or that you carry with you? You know, sometimes we don't even realize we're carrying a staff around. Some of us would call it baggage. Some of us would call it the ball and chain that follows us around. Whatever it is, God came to set you free. But here's what has to happen. You have to be willing to throw it down. Because when we are willing to surrender it to God, you want to know what happens? He takes this thing, this staff that represents our failure, our failure, and he turns it into ministry. He turns it into a revelation of his glory in our lives so that those who don't believe, who that can't see the transformation, Because we tell them that we're transformed, instead they can see it. So God is saying, don't tell them you're different, show them you're different. But let me show how different you are through my power at work in your life. There is no situation. Remember, Moses was a murderer, a fugitive, an outcast. There is no situation in your life that cannot be redeemed through surrender. I know. I know it's hard. I know Because there are times still when I go home and and somebody will make a comment or say something and imply that I haven't changed at all. They don't know. You know, people will judge you based on their own baggage. There's nothing more damaging to the body of Christ and to our own personal growth than other people's junk, 
other people's jealousy, other people's envy. Don't let what other people think slow you down or stop you. Instead, push in closer to God. Worship Him. Let Him define who you are. Don't worry about what they think. Continue to surrender your situations, your staff to God so that He can show His glory through your experiences.